हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इंडिया फॉर आई एस करेंट अफेयर्स सीरीज इन दिस करेंट अफेयर्स सीरीज वी कवर टॉपिक्स विच आर इन न्यूज एंड विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लाइक यू पी एस सी फिल्म एंड मेन्स के ए एस फिल्म एंड मेन्स ग्रुप सी एग्जाम एंड एस एस सी एग्जाम द टॉपिक्स आर चूजन फ्रॉम वेरियस न्यूज पेपर्स लाइक इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड द हिंदू एंड ऑल्सो फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया पी आई बी वेबसाइट The topic of this video is nearby river contributes to the rise of Mount Everest. So this topic it falls under GS one paper, geography part. Within geography, it falls under physical geography. Physical geography. This topic it is important for both prelims and mains, both prelims and mains of. The upcoming UPSC and KAS exams. Recently, an article published, an research article published, which cites that the nearby river contributing to the rise of Mount Everest. So, the Mount Everest currently it is eight eight four nine meters tall above the mean sea level. In the last eighty nine thousand years. Mount Everest has risen about fifteen to fifty meter in height. This is because a nearby river is eroding rock and soil at its base. At the base of Mount Everest, it is eroding the rock and soil. So this is helping the pushing up of the. So this erosion by the nearby river, it is pushing. the mount everest to rise further upwards as we all know that the rise of mount everest as a part of the himalayan uplift is primarily attributed to the plate tectonic forces so as per plate tectonics the indian plate indian plate is subducting beneath the eurasian plate so because of this there is a rise of himalayan mountains as we all know that mount everest is part of himalayan mountain and the rise of mountain is the rise of mount everest is directly attributed to the plate tectonic forces apart from that the river arun this is washing away the billions of tons of earth at the base of the mount everest so the mountain range becomes lighter and exert less force downwards because of this erosion activity of the arun river so because of that what is happening the crust is pushed upwards by the mantle so because of this mount everest is is exerting less force the mantle is pushing the crust towards the upwards as we can see here so because of that what is happening mount everest rises 2 mm per year every year mount everest is rising 2 mm so here we have a graphical representation of the formation of uh, mount everest and himalayan systems so this is indian plate it is subducting beneath the eurasian plate so because of that what is happening because of continental continental collision there is a rise of mount everest or himalayan system himalayas so this is the continental continental collision as per plate tectonic theory the tectonic forces are still ongoing still indian plate is moving towards the eurasian plate with the himalayas rising approximately 5 mm per year and the mount everest continues to grow as a result of tectonic forces now we will look into the role of nearby rivers in the erosion process rivers such as kosi dud kosi and uh, bote kosi so these are tributaries of ganga they drain the himalayan region around mount everest these rivers they play a crucial role in eroding the mountains as rivers cut through the rock they remove sediments and debris which lightens the load on the earth crust as the as the river cuts the rocks and they removes the sediments 
the earth crust become lighter because of the removal of the erosion materials this process is called as isostatic rebound so because of earth crust experiencing lower load in response to the erosion the earth crust can rise to maintain the equilibrium contributing to the overall elevation of the region so as the material is being eroded so this uh, part of the earth it becomes lighter so because of that what happens there is a rebound in the earth crust so this is called as isostatic rebound while erosion by rivers counteracts the uplift by removing material it also helps reveal newer higher layers of the rock that continue to rise due to tectonic forces now we will understand the role of riverine sediment deposition and uplift the rivers in the himalayan region they carry massive amounts of sediments from the mountains to the plains these sediments they are deposited in the areas like indo gangetic plain so the sediments they are deposited at indo gangetic plain so because of that what is happening in the indo gangetic plain the earth crust because of the load of the sediment load of sediment the earth crust is it is sinking it is sinking because of the load of the sediment at the indo gangetic plain whereas the unloading effect at the himalayan range at the himalaya what is happening the material is being eroded so because of that what is happening there is a unloading effect at the mountainous regions the rivers carry away large volumes of material this is contributing to the rise of rise of himalayas this ongoing removal of material allows deeper rock layers to rise thus maintaining or even increasing the elevation of the mountains so as the material here it is being eroded what is happening so after erosion of the material the crust here is it is experiencing lighter so because of that what is happening there is a push of the lower layers of the rock towards the up and these lower layers of the rock they are again exposed to the erosion so this process continues till there is a isostatic balance so this is all about how the nearby rivers by eroding the material from the base of the mountain that is especially mount everest how they are contributing to the uplift of the mount everest based on the topic that we have discussed so far here we have provided one prelims practice question this question contains four statements go through all the four statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel this pdf handout also contains the detailed notes of this video thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy learning